to get it to the line of scrimmage and live for another down and they'll punt. So right now, Lou Esposito's defense looks really good in this first half. Fourth punt for Walrath as Bauer is now just two for seven passing. This checks up. Looks a bit of a Western Michigan bounce. Now flags, pushing and shoving. Things getting a little chaotic down there. And the officials rush in to try and regain control. And now players leaving the Western bench. And that's never a good sign. Yeah, you can't do that. You don't want automatic ejections. Now, you know there's going to be chippiness because it's a rivalry game. Officials got to get in there and break it up. And they did a nice job getting there quick. And the, and the Western Michigan coaches did a good job getting their guys back. You just, but to your point, Clay, you cannot leave the bench. I didn't see any late flags for that, but there was a couple early, so they'll sort it out here. Jim McElwain's thinking on, not again. This happened at the end of the Northern Illinois game last week, where Central and Northern kind of mixed it up at the end, and it led to a couple of suspensions in the first half for the Chippewas. And we just see some hard nose blocking there, and then a player gets thrown to the ground. Listen, that's football. That happens. And some guys take exception, a couple pushing, some shoving. Got to stop it right here. So the officials get in here, and that's where you see guys' hands up on the face mask, grabbing those helmets. That's where the flag needs to come in, and I believe one came in there from the center judge. And what do you expect? Hey, there the are two cannons at stake. Both against the receiver during the kick, holding, receiving team, number six. A 10 yard penalty is enforced from the end of the kick. After the play, on sportsmanlike conduct, receiving team, number six, his first of the game.